Hello guys, come on in. Deb here. Oh my microphone. Oh one of these days. One of these days. I never remember until I hit live. It's so weird. It's a mental block. Come on in guys. Come on in. <laughs> if you're seeing this right here, then you're probably watching the replay. So put hashtag replay. So I know you were here. I love coming back and saying hi to you guys. So come on in, say hi. Of course, if you're a silent watcher, it's still nice to know you were here. You can just type replay or anything, but that's okay. I understand lots of people are just watchers. So glad you're here. Regardless, come on in. This is my segment for Craft Round the Clock this week. So we're getting moved over into that group as well. And if you don't know about Craft Round the Clock, where have you been? But it is up in the description of this video. Hello, Jermaine. Hi, Cheryl. Glad y'all are coming in. Come on in. Say hey. Uh, we have a very easy painting today, but it is going to be really pretty, and I think it's one that I get messages all the time, like, I just can't do it. I can't. I know it's easy. I can't do it. So I've, I've made this flower so simple that there is no way you can't do it. So come on in. This is a different flower than you've seen me do. Hi, Tracy. How are you today? Happy Monday, everybody. Hi, Kim. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mary. Hello, Gloria. Glad you're here. You are off today, aren't you? Hi, Vicki and Debbie. Glad y'all are coming in. Hi, Cheryl and Tanya. Hi, Glenda and Debbie. Thank you for spreading the grace, guys. I do appreciate it. We definitely need that help. Hi, Mary. How are you today? Mary's one of our presenters this weekend in our Craft Round the Clock. I mean, sorry. <laughs> creatives for Alzheimer's event. We are going to be streamed over into Craft Around the Clock, so I had that on my brain. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Levada and Bonnie. Hi, Sydney and Leanne. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Sue. Um, so this is going to be a super, super, super easy painting, and if you have ever had any trouble doing any of my flowers, even though I tell you they're easy, then you need to try this one. This is the simplest one I think you'll ever find. Thank you for sprinkling, Jermaine. Hi, Diana. Oh, thank you. I have to run a few errands after this, so I had to uh, switch out of my normal t-shirts that you see me in and look appropriate. Hello, Sherry and Celeste. Although I do run around in t-shirts too, so don't get me wrong. Come on in, guys. Here's our color palette for today. Very simple, but we do have a little something something to make it special. Hi, Levada. Thank you for the stars. Hi, Deb Dalton. Glad you're here. You guys just come on in. Say hi. Um, love for you guys to pop in and, and hang out as long as you can. I am trying to do a lot of these on, at noon because I know lots of us take... I'm going to scoot back in this chair. My back is really in bad shape today so can y'all see this i just looked and saw it this is me trying to figure out wordle so don't look i'm a wordle i just love that game and play it every day so it's just like one you know one puzzle that you have to figure out and it's just really fun so if you haven't played it you gotta just look it up just i just literally will type in wordle in the search browser and play that one for the day and then I'm done. Hi Arla. I hope yours is too. Hi Carol. How are you today my friend? Okay so I'm gonna take my round brush. Let me show you the palette. Take my round brush and get it into this purple and just roll it around and get it good and filled. Press it down, roll it around. Excuse me a minute. My nose is running. And then I'm just gonna start anywhere. We're gonna just kind of fill the page with these flowers. And I have something special I'm going to do with them. So we're just taking this acrylic paint and making a... Now this is different. So you guys that watch me all the time and you're like, Oh, another flower. I've seen her do these a million times. This is different. I was playing around with my special tool. I'll show you. Oh my goodness. My no I'm so sorry, y'all. My nose is running now that I'm looking down. So forgive me. That's... You know, once we start looking down to do our paintings or crafts, 
It happens. Hello, Mon I mean, Simone, I'm so glad you're here. Simone is one of our presenters this weekend, you guys. I know if you're following me, surely you've seen my posts about the fourth annual Creatives for Alzheimer's event. We will be doing craft and art tutorials all day. They're going to be super quick, though, 30 minutes. And not even a full 30 minutes because the last five minutes we're going to auction what we create. So a lot of us will have to do things beforehand and just kind of show you what we did and all that. But we are raising awareness and, of course, money for the Alzheimer's Association. So I want you all to be here if you can at all and support all of these amazing, generous creatives because they're giving their time. They're taking time to push it for me and to, you know, get it out there. They are raising money. Oh, thank you, Carol. They are... Um, you know, giving of their time Saturday to give y'all something fun and uh, auctioning it and sending it for free. So you don't have to pay shipping if you win a bid. They are doing that out of the goodness of their hearts. So uh, very generous people here, and I really appreciate them. You'll find lots of people that you already know and maybe some you don't. So it's going to be a great day. I'm excited. So now I've just taken a little bit of that dusty rose color. Let's see what the official name is. Um blush pink. Isn't it pretty? I use this a lot. It's just a really soft, feminine, kind of dusty pink. And we're going to add that in a couple of these. So very irregular circles is all we're doing so far. Hi, Lori. Thank you for sprinkling. I saw your order. Thank you so much. You guys that order from my Etsy shop. Oh, it just... Have you seen the post that says, anytime you order from a small business, we do a little happy dance? It's true. Uh, not just because we need the money to live, <laughs> but it's also because you like what we do. Like, it's so um, encouraging when you choose to spend your money with us. So thank you guys that do that. I have Art and Grace t-shirts in there. I have a coffee mug. I have a coaster of one of my paintings. I have lots of things in there. I've got lots of art kits too. I think I'm going to lighten this one up a little more, add some more white. Just kind of spread it around. Not too, I don't want to totally make it, but look, so don't tell me you can't do it. Hi Lisa. I mean Lisa, sorry. My eyes are bad. Hi Cynthia. Thank you Lori. Appreciate you. Hi Tara. Thank you, Trisha. Well, this is a little different. Ooh, look at Be Crafty with Jody. Hi, Jody. I like your little yellow um, logo. Hopefully, you guys are seeing some of ours. We have the Alzheimer's frame. And listen, if you haven't hit me up on that, I said anybody who donates, and it, it $5, to, you know, whatever you can do, um, I'm happy to make you one. So send me a message. If you want one of these little purple Alzheimer's frames that all the presenters are using, because we would love to give you one too, just to say thank you for making a donation. Just send me a message or an email, whatever you want to do. So I'm just kind of going to fill up this, this uh, canvas, I think. I'm going to put some like where they're tucked behind, like so. I might even, I'm kind of thinking now that I've started doing it, I might want a little more pink. So I might get out my fuchsia. You know, I almost always add that color. Let's see. I don't know. It's hard to know yet because we're going to fill it up. Hi, Jace. How are you, buddy? Are you in somewhere fancy? Jace is a new flight attendant. Y'all congratulate him. I watched the whole process. I watched him get accepted, go to school. He was in school for like four weeks. He took his big test. He aced it, and then he got his wings. So congratulations, Jace. We are so happy for you. He's an amazing creator, but obviously he has a heart to do, um, you know, flight attending and traveled the world, so we're proud of you. But we'll still see, I know, we'll still see his creations, I'm sure. It's a big deal. That's I'm, I know that that was a lot to learn in a short time. And, you know, we've all flown, so we know the importance of a good flight attendant. So, I know you will do great and 
probably have to calm a lot of fears and who knows what all. You know, we know we see what they put up with. Some, some of the bad behavior I've seen in videos is just disturbing. So it's a big job. Okay, so that one I added a little pink just for some fun. Hi, Cindy. Thank y'all for telling him congratulations. It means a lot, you know, to, to know people are proud of you. Okay, I think I'm going to stop and do a couple of leaves. Let's see here. Sydney, do you know Jace or are you just being sweet? Um, I cannot think of the name of his business. If anybody knows it, put it in. Or Jace, if you happen to still be here, sometimes he'll pop in because he's busy and just say hi. But if, um, if y'all know it, put it. Okay, so here we are just making simple leaves, kind of filling this in, and that will help me know how many more flowers and wet, where. I agree, Diana. It's It takes a lot to do that job. And you've got to have nerves of steel because, you know, sometimes the planes have terrible turbulence and everyone's looking at them to get their, you know, peace. Are we okay? Is everything okay? So I've been praying for him the whole way through this process because we need, you know, people that are believers that will, you know, uh, be praying for that plane and, and for those people and... You know, it's it's a risk we take every time we go anywhere in a car or a plane. So I like to bring things over on the edges. Let's do that. You're letting your brush do it. I just touch down with the tip of that brush to let that fall over the edge. Hi, Daniela. Oh, good. Yeah, that's where I found him, Sydney. But he had me. He reached out to me and had me be a guest on there, um, and we became fast friends. And Katie, I like Katie and Michelle. I don't know everybody, but you know, you probably know. I don't, I don't watch as many as I wish I had time for on Facebook, or I'd love to just watch everybody. Hi, Kathy. How's everybody doing on this Monday? Mondays are always a little hard to get back in the groove, but that's why I like to come live on Monday, especially at this time. You know, just kind of like take a break in your day. So I'm going to grab pink this time with some purple. So pink and purple at the same time. And we'll come in here and do one here with those two colors. Just trying to be careful. You can do this in stages where you uh, let your leaves dry, you know. But I'm just trying to be careful and go around. Hi, Heather. I know, Sydney. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Everybody I've seen, it's, you know, you just learn something from everybody and get to know people. And, you know, you got to remember, everybody's different, right? So you have to be open to, to being around people that are different from you and not think everybody has to think like me or create like me or do things like me because that's when you can learn. You know, if we're all kind of closed-minded and think, oh, well, I don't like that. You, you might just fall in love with a person if you get to know them. So give people a chance. And that's why these groups are fantastic for that. You get to know people on a more personal level. And then relate to them in different ways. I'm going to add a little white in here. You just I just want each flower to look a little different. Not be exactly the same as the one next to it. And we're just going to fill this up. And then we're going to use the special tool I have. Josie doing okay for a rainy day in Colorado. Well, y'all needed the rain, didn't you? Was it Colorado that is needing? I know a couple of places. Ooh, Teresa. That is amazing. How sweet. Wow. Isn't it amazing when your kids grow up and can do those kind of things for you? Wow. That's awesome. Okay, so on this one, I'm picking up all three colors. I've got purple, white, and pink. Y'all don't take this so seriously. It's just circles, imperfect circles. Kind of filling it in. Like so. And I like them to be wonky. Oop, I got a little green in that. That's what I mean about if you don't let it dry, it's going to be easy to, to touch the wrong thing. But we'll just keep on going, make it work. You can... 
there's little tricks. You can wet your brush and then go back over what you did wrong and it'll kind of pick it up. But we'll just kind of keep going. It's all okay. Might put a little pink in here. Probably need more leaves and more dark. This is just like no pattern. You just start practicing these. Deborah, you're good. How did it go? And are you in pain? Hopefully you're not. Hopefully what they gave you. But the thing about that is when, when we go get a procedure done and they give us the good stuff and then you get home and a few hours later it's really... So stay on top of whatever meds they gave you because I don't want you hurting all afternoon. Sometimes you think, oh, I'm doing good. I don't need that. And then boom, it hits. So you know why I'm doing purple, purple on the brain all week. And um, listen, by the way, has anybody been in the Creatives for All Summers group today? Because I put something fun in there. There's a little word scramble. And when I go live on Saturday, I'm going to give away a prize to somebody who completes that word scramble. So you don't have, I don't want you to show your answers because we want everybody to play along and have fun with it. But if you do it and you tell me you did it in there, you have to go into that group and do it, then um, you'll be in the drawing. So that will be fun. We're going to do a few fun things on Saturday for our event. But if you're just popping on, it's the Creatives for Alzheimer's Art and Craft event and fundraiser. So we'll be... Uh, auctioning what we create that day and the segments are going to go really fast like 30 minutes total so you guys if you miss one you miss it it's gonna but there will be replays but I'm just saying they're gonna go fast because time goes really fast as it is but we wanted to include as many people as we could that wanted to and that was important to me so we bumped them down to 30 minutes. I don't know if I'll do this again. I think it's going to be very hard for us, but I had a hard time being like, oh, I, I, I'm full. I just wanted everybody. Look at these purple hearts, y'all. I bet you most of these purple hearts are from our presenters. We have lots of ladies in here right now. I see Tamara is a presenter. Sherry, um, let's see. Do I see other purple hearts or other presenters? Just put some purple hearts. You can put purple hearts if you're not a presenter. Um, we love purple hearts around here. So, um, but that just remind those purple hearts, every time I see one, it just reminds me of the importance of getting the word out. You know, there are so many people, y'all, who don't understand what Alzheimer's is or dementia. It can be, you know, we're doing this for all of it. Um, all of our proceeds, 100%, you get, you donate directly to the Alzheimer's Association. We don't touch the money. And so you know it's going to a great organization. I'm happy to send you their, um, how they spend their money. They've got it all broken down, but it's it's very uh, fair and, and um, honorable. You know, only like 4% goes to salaries and things, which is fantastic. Because it, it obviously takes money to run it, but they have lots of volunteers. And I am more than happy to volunteer because they help me so much in dealing with my mom. So if you, you may not even know right now, but somebody may come to you this week, next week, next month and say, did you know that my mom has Alzheimer's? I just found out. And so by kind of hearing about the Alzheimer's Association and being a part of this event, you're going to be able to say, oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? I know um, I know just where you can look for some information and give them, you know, I've, I've tried to make it so easy. In that group, I have added lots of links. So like if you need to call someone and speak to someone now, here's the number. If you need information about resources in your community, here's the link. So in guide two is all of that information. And um, anyway, so a big part of what we're doing is for information and for uh, just supporting people that are going through it. Over 6 million Americans are living with it right now. That's a lot. 
and so we're not here just to raise money although that's a huge part of it that's the main thing we need to do but also to raise awareness and get it give information to the people that need it so I did create that that specific group for that reason I don't do a whole lot in that group other than share our presenters and do the fundraiser every year you know things like that just a place that people can go when they're like oh yeah there I knew there was a lady that you know gave information then hopefully y'all will remember to come in there and take a look sorry I'm not looking at your comments I will I will it is Deb it it's it's I would dare say it's harder on the person the the family the caregivers uh, because the one who has it gets to the point where obviously they don't know they have it anymore you know they may know it first but thank you Angie for the hearts but they don't they don't after a while obviously understand or remember um, so that's why I'm really I try to push you know having a support network you've got to have a support network if you have a church family if you don't if you have friends if you don't you've got us you've got me so reach out and don't be alone through this it's too much to bear alone okay filling it up guys filling it up oh me too Cindy me too listen I, I talk about it a lot so that we can break the stigma you know none of us can help it we're living in a world where this is a it's a big problem and I dare say I'm sure it's things we eat and drink or things we use every day that is making it worse here uh, but it's worldwide there's like 55 million people worldwide so six over six million here in the US and 55 so it's not just us it's everywhere that's why it's so important to get information out we cannot have a stigma about it we can't be embarrassed we can't not talk about it we got to talk about it and help each other because it's affecting all of us there's hardly any family anymore that that isn't and if you're not it's such a blessing but you could you know definitely help support your friends who are dealing with it how's it looking guys are we filling it up they have come a long way they do have meds um, and I am a part of helping those get approved and uh, I, I just you know I really I'm just really passionate about it and and you can get as involved or you can just help by sharing a post you know like I spend a lot of time money personal resources you know doing things but but if you only share one of my posts that is so helpful so thank you for that and don't think you know that it's not something it's a lot and I, I always think there's just one person that might need to hear about it or get some help who's struggling. So by sharing one post, they might they might be the one that needed it. So I appreciate you guys a lot. Is she Cynthia? Well, I hope that it helps. Hi, Dina. Okay, so here we go, Dina. We're just getting started. I filled my page with irregular shaped circles that's all we've done and our leaves which are like little football shapes I'm just gonna take a peek here I'm, I'm looking in the to see where I think it needs something a little something something do y'all see a spot I see a spot right here that would do good with a little leaf I'm excited to show y'all the next part the next part is what will make this fun so I want to get to it. This would be really pretty with resin on it. I might do that. I hadn't even thought of resining it, but now that I'm looking at it, picturing it really glass-like. Hi, Judy Weaver. Oh, bless you, Sherry. You ladies that are able to take care of them in your home, it's amazing. My mom did for her, both of her parents. They both had it. So I pray God's blessings on you that can do that. And, and also on you that can't because it's just as hard to be far away or to not be able to, not, not for whatever reason, it's very hard. A close-up of a lilac, does it? 
So that's all we've done so far. I'm going to dry this. And then I'm going to show you all the secret tool. And I need water. I am so off of my sweet tea, y'all. I still crave it, but every time I wish I had some, I grab a water. Connie, that is amazing. I'm so glad. I hope you'll be a part of our day Saturday. And you can even, if you guys have a story you want to share, if you have somebody in your family and you just want to share about them, share a picture of them, tell us about them, um, anything, go into that Creatives for Alzheimer's group and share away. You know, we, we want to lift up and honor your loved ones and, um, and all the things. Thank you, Angie. Appreciate you. Yes, right, Lori? Jennifer, uh, I was on sweet tea so bad and I don't, it's not the only reason that I'm gaining weight, but you know, I gotta do everything I can. And so that is number one was getting off that. And then I am exercising, but it's very little for me because of my back and my back is killing me all. So any prayers are appreciated today. Um, I filled orders one day in here and just, I was sitting in this desk and then bending constantly. I had a lot of stuff down here on the floor. I don't have, oh, I have a very small space. And um, so I was bending all day and that I woke up, well, it was that night. I was like, oh no. And I woke up the next day just like writhing in pain. So it doesn't take much for me. All I'm doing y'all is taking that round brush Dipping it, dipping it in my green and then dipping it into the lime green and going over what I did. I'm not covering all of the leaf, just kind of swipe, swipe. And that actually adds a lot. You need a little, most, most times acrylic paint needs a couple of layers and everything looks better with layers in my opinion with acrylic paint. So I do a couple. like so and just kind of make sure we have good coverage and it looks pretty and adding that second green just does something to it now as long as our purple flowers are uh, a little bit different from the ones next to it this is going to be really pretty when we do our next step oh vicky i know see it, it does it not everybody can physically take care of someone. Um, people, as they progress in the illness, they need lifting to go to the bathroom or to be changed. They need two people to help them shower, not just one. So it's not feasible for us all to do that. And so we pray for good workers. You know, I prayed all the time. God send good workers with good hearts because they don't pay them enough and a lot of times they get people that don't really care so oh, prayer is so important it's important for anything but I really really did oh Cindy bless you I know it's so hard on you I know it is thank you Vicki thank you for the prayers you drink sweet. I don't like any sugar substitute. There are just none that I have found that I like. Monk fruit, <clears throat> monk fruit is okay. I like it okay. So here, has anybody guessed what I'm going to do to this? Let's see. We started at 12. Okay, we're good. We're going to use my deco art. Wait, is it this one I wanted to use? Hold on. Let me try these out. I had one that, that worked better than the other. I don't think it's the deco art one though. Let me just test it real quick again because now they look alike sitting here. It wasn't. So it's not the deco art one that I love. It is the pen touch. So let's see if I can hold that up. Pen touch gold. I have this pinned in my Amazon storefront because I love it so much. I think it was Christy Reynolds who sent this to me as a gift and I love it. So here's what we're going to do. And you can do this with paint, but this makes it so easy. We're going to start. Oh, I hope y'all can see this. 
we're going to start and we're going to do some spirals at the beginning. So just little, uh, I also want these imperfect. So I started with spirals and then kind of go to what I'm calling a petal look. So guys, how easy is this? It's not, I went over, it. May, it's hard, kind of hard doing it upside down, but if I can do it upside down, you know you can do it right side up, <laughs> right? Look, see, I just think everybody can do this. Now try on paper first, you know, get some mixed media paper or use notebook paper, whatever you have. But that is easy and I think when we, I haven't even done a whole page yet, I've just played around with it. And, um, hi Jeanette, Jean, I mean Jeannie, sorry, Jeannie is one of our creatives with Alzheimer's Presenters. I'm so excited to see what you do. Um, and she is raising money. You guys, I am so below my goal. So if you were wanting to donate and you just haven't had time yet, I would so love that. Do you see how I'm just doing it pretty imperfect? But that's what makes this look more, you know, realistic. Uh, so if you've been thinking about like, I, I should give something, then please do. I think I pinned my link. It, it's not there again. I don't know why it doesn't. Do y'all see it? I don't see it, but I did pin my link, but it's on my page. It's everywhere. Um, so I would love for you to donate. Even $5 will help. You know, we all can do something and, and together it adds up. So don't feel like, oh, I don't have enough to do. Yes, you do. You know, if you want to do If don't feel obligated though. So that being said, nobody is obligated, of course. See that? Thank you guys. But I'm telling you, I just I couldn't wait to show y'all this um, because I'm like, this is an easy way to do flowers. Now I'm using this marker, but you can use a detail brush. Um, but I love this gold. So imperfect little spiral. I start kind of touching down and then just start making little petal shapes going around. Easy peasy, y'all. Easy peasy. This would have been a good one to do on my auction because it's something probably a lot of people would use around their house or give as a gift or something. What do y'all think I should do Saturday? Does anybody have any like requests like, ooh, I'd like to win something. So what would you, what do you think would go well, you know, that I could make on Saturday? Cause I do not have my project planned yet. Thank you, Judy. Hi Debbie, I'm glad you're here live too. Hi Lisa Lippa, thank you. So starting with spirals. And then I start touching down. So just kind of start touching down in there. And then you just start. That was a little wet. That's not good for this marker, y'all. Be sure your paint is dry or it will ruin your marker. I think I got it wiped off. Okay. Ooh, that would be really pretty, Lisa. Great idea. Purple heart, a purple heart. So I am doing my segment at 9 a.m. Central on Saturday. I'll start off the event and then every 30 minutes will be a new creator with something else cool. Now it's not all gonna be about purple and Alzheimer's. I mean, what they create could be anything. I mean, I told them free reign, you do whatever you wanna do. You know, it doesn't have to be purple. Um, so there'll be a big variety for sure. And some of the ladies have already been working on it. I don't know if you guys have seen Tamara Dankert's um, purple book that she made. Oh goodness, let me let me get this gold running again because oh there it goes. Once I touch down in that paint, it kind of where was I right here? 
kind of, oh yeah, now we got it. Look at that. That made a difference. Um, but anyway, we'll have lots of different things from everybody and I'm really excited. I love collaborating with these ladies because um, it's a lot of, you know, sometimes it's people I don't know very well. So you get to know them, you know, you get to see and you, you find out who has the heart for, for helping this, you know, and, and that's always good to see. I usually find stories. Um, somebody will say in our chat group that we have, like, you know, my sister, my mother, my uncle, my dad, whatever. And, and then it gives me more people to pray for. I am very committed to being there for people that need the support. I, I, I just barely made it, y'all. It's so hard. It is so stressful. To deal with and um, you really need friends who will pray for you you just really do and who will you know not just wait for you to say I need help but who will show up and say what time are you going to see your mom I want to go with you or would you like to stay home today I'll go visit your mom things like that are worth a million dollars because some, sometimes it's just so stressful I would walk out of there I can I can get Terry now thinking of it because I'd walk out of there and the minute I walked out those doors I'd start crying and just you know it's so hard to see your family member in that way so support is so needed okay who is like I can do this. This is a flower I can do. Cause you're you're watching me in real time and you see that it's so easy. Right? Yes, Cindy, you do have to you do have to tell them, you know, people see us differently than we feel so we may feel super down and depressed and vulnerable and sad but they see their mom they just see a strong woman who can handle anything who's doing fine you have to you have to be honest and say this is the hardest thing I've ever been through I hate seeing my family member this way it's crushing me and I need I need your help you know don't be too proud to ask most people will help when asked and if they don't you ask somebody else because there are people I really prayed for God to put people in my life you know because uh, he, he knows who can be a good friend to you and I'll be here for you I'm just not close so I can't you know always help physically but okay y'all are y'all are y'all seeing I just I just think this is one of the easiest ways to make some pretty flowers thanks Lori oh good Lisa she's gonna try it oh, Cindy has a canvas out okay y'all if you do this will you please show me you can post it anywhere and tag me or you can go into the uh, creatives for Alzheimer's group put it there you can um, let's see where the I have a free group called uh, Art and Craft Showcase, and that's a place for you to showcase what you're doing. So you can go put it in there. But when you put your creations out there in the world, it brings joy to somebody. They're like, oh, that's pretty. And maybe they save it as a screensaver, which by the way, if you're on my email list, open your email today because I did send you a freebie in there today. And I want everybody to get get it and use it if they want to. Just going around, y'all. I'm sure there are a million better ways to do this, but this is Deb's way, and I think it works great. Sister, yes. And a lot of it's normal. You know, we're all going to have the normal memory loss. That's just part of life in a fallen world with fallen bodies that are not perfect, and they... Um, you know we age but uh, just being there for each other and putting some tools in place if you need tips and ideas on you know maybe your loved one refuses to shower or you know gets combative 
you just feel free to message me. I have a lot of tips that I had to find out the hard way. I watched a lot of videos from a lady named Teepa Snow. It's T-E-E-P-A-S-N-O-W. She's wonderful, uh, very educated, trained for Alzheimer's care. And I learned a lot from her about how to deal with correctly because you're not dealing with the mom or the dad that you knew you're dealing with almost like a toddler in the brain so they are not being ugly they're not being you know uh, defiant they just have lost the part of the brain that can help them be logical so we cannot blame them this is a pin touch gold let me see if there's a size it's one millimeter fine point. I do have it pinned in my Amazon shop to make it easy. Anything that I really love will be pinned in there. Um, so you can, at the top of my regular Facebook page, I have like a link tree like everybody and you can get to my Amazon shop easily there or by going to my website artgracepaint.com. Okay guys, we just have a couple more and we are doing good on time. I'm thinking about doing some on the leaves. Y'all let me know if we should do some on the leaves because you've got a, a little bit better advantage than I do for how it looks. Oh, Michelle, how sweet. Okay, no problem. Screen shaver. Yes, Gloria. The screen savers are the freebie that's in the email. And if you're not on my email, you should sign up. I I send an email every Monday with my count with my weekly schedule. And I also every single Monday, well, there's a couple of Mondays that I don't have time because I was sick one week or something, but just about every Monday I send an email and there's somebody who wins a freebie every single week. So that is my thank you for actually opening my emails because we all get too many, don't we? I send one a week, so it's not too many. And, um, and if you open it, you might win the next week. So I try to say thank you to you guys because I know I wouldn't be here without y'all. And those are little fun things I can do. Okay, so what have y'all said about green or gold on the green leaves? Yes, Lisa, I love my pen. It's fantastic. She got me another one too, I believe. Um, Christy, you can remind me if you got me both of these. This one may be one I ordered, but it's a larger size. So um, I use this one all the time. Thank you, Monica. Good to see you, friend. Thank you for the stars. Thanks, Becky. So what are y'all saying about purple? Are we saying add? Hi, Melissa. How are you today? Yes on the leaves. Gold on the leaves. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Christy says, I've you yes, Christy's the one that gave me this marker and I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you guys send me happy mail, it's just crazy. I'm like, I wish I could send happy mail to all of you. I really do. One day I might. I mean, it's such a thing that I want to do that I'm like, I'm not going to put it past God that he might just make a way because I think it'd be so fun to just be like, you get happy mail, you get happy mail. So this, you can do whatever, you know. I mean, this is my first time to do this. So I'm just kind of whatever. Don't don't be so serious about it you know that that's what makes art fun is to just kind of play around if you don't like it the next time you can do it different it doesn't hurt anything get one of this is a a michael's canvas but get you some from dollar tree and then you don't feel bad about ruining it or even better is a mixed media pad so you can totally not worry about you know expense or space with that but here we go. That's it. That is it. And I think it turned out so pretty. I think this would be a good thing to give away. Maybe I'll give this away Saturday too. Maybe I'll have a few collection of things that I can give away. That'd be fun. Okay, guys. I can't wait to see you. I'll be on almost every day this week. So be watching. 
and get on the email list and get in the group creatives for Alzheimer's and I will see y'all again and I'll be reading your comments so hang out or I'll, I'll see you a little bit also in the description of the video you can go to craft around the clock to see the next person after me and I hope y'all have a great day oh on my website Connie artgracepaint.com bye guys